Good lord. Okay, well. Another weenie out of the pants report. This is uh, Sir David. Ah, God, I get tired of doing these, but you know, if people don't know what it's like to be in Utah, they're going to put let their kids. I just let my girls go out uh, and play tennis. And it's getting just a little bit dark, and I'm just getting nervous. I sit up here and do these things, and then worry about my girls. Okay, here we go. When a little Provo girl started complaining of pain, her mother asked her what was wrong. Okay, this is in the Utah Valley Crime Watch Daily Herald, and uh, I don't have a date on her. Um, according to an arrest report, the girl responded she had been molested by Ethan K. Scranum, S-C-H-R-A-M-M. The report states that Scranum was alone with the girl about three weeks ago when he molested her with both his hands and his genitals. When the girl said it hurt, he felt pretty guilty and stopped. The report adds, but roughly two weeks after that, he committed a second highly similar episode, episode of abuse. Well, evidently his guilt was not uh, held very long, was it? After learning about the incident, the girl's mother looked her, uh, or took her to the hospital. The girl eventually underwent a forensic interview and she reported identical situations to uh, her doctor and a Division of Child and Family Services worker. When police confronted Scranum, he admitted to all of the allegations the report state. He was booked into jail on two counts of sodomy on, child, uh, on a child and two counts of aggravated sexual abuse of a child, first degree felonies, and his bail was set at $10,000. Now, I'm not an, ex uh, an expert on criminal activity. My degrees uh, in law, uh, in my associations with law classes didn't really include criminal activity, but uh, my understanding is that if you have a ten thousand uh, dollar bail you can go to a bail's bondman and give the bondsman a thousand dollars your ass is out of jail would you want this guy's ass out of jail for a thousand dollars i don't you know the judges in utah they just don't think these are serious crimes i guess that's why the guys uh... basically and the gals basically uh... continue to um, engage in them. Alright, well, let me let me tell you, there's been a resolution to this. That was the, his arrest. Uh, he got 15 years to life on a plea bargain in Utah, and uh, basically um, he bargained away uh, two more felonies, I think, and a, and a few misdemeanors. So, you know, plea bargaining and sex abuse cases, I just I don't see it, folks. I'm sorry. I just don't see it. When a person is a murderer, when a person attacks innocent children at random, they're a danger to the community. And in Utah, you know, they'll, they'll get the murderer pretty well, but uh, when it comes to children and women, uh, you can molest them anytime you want in Utah, and you're not going to be uh, paying any kind of a price for that. So anyway, Another weenie out of the pants uh, experience in Utah. I wish we could have different subjects uh, presented, but uh, I, I really kind of gotten to a point where I'm not going to let him get away with it. By the way, I picked up another couple of countries. I'm at 161 countries um, that have uh, hit my videos, and um, some of you have really helped, I think, improve Utah. I'm finding within 24 hours of my videos that are truthful and that have weight and your audience acceptance, shit happens in Utah. They change really, really quick. The uh, call I got today from the uh, Stansbury um, High School uh, Towilla School District Department I uh, made an appointment to um, have the principal call me from Stansbury uh, High School today. No call. Am I surprised? No. 
no call. But you know what? I went on to the video and said, they never called. 18 hours later, they called. And it wasn't the principal, it was the director over at the district office. So, I appreciate you people so much. Um, when you put your um, um, click on the computer, and uh, I don't get any advertising money, I don't get anything. It's cost me zero to produce, and it's cost me, or it's given me zero in return, except for the feelings of so many great human beings throughout the world that are telling Utah, you're out of the world. You're not in the world, you're not of the world, you're out of the world. The way you treated those kids the other day was, uh, you should, some of you should be fired, maybe some of you should actually be charged with child abuse. With child abuse. You don't do that to kids. So anyway, I hate to keep doing the weenie out of the report, um, or re weenie out of the pants reports, but damn, you know, they're the most common things here in Utah. Thanks.